Hey guys, Evan here with Engine Builder Magazine. We're at PRI 2022 at the D&J Precision Machine booth. Behind me is this awesome 6.7 liter Cummins engine, and it's your Diesel of the Week. Engine Builder's Diesel of the Week is sponsored by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. So we're joined here by Drew Pumphrey of DNJ Precision Machine. You guys, if you follow our content, you've obviously seen him. He helps a lot with our technical content, our Diesel of the Week content. Um, you know, he's known everywhere, especially for the Enforcer Series engine here. So Drew, obviously this is a, you know, for a customer's truck, what was kind of the philosophy going in? What, what did he want built? What he wanted built was about a 2,000 horsepower truck that he could still drive on the street, drag race through the summer, dirt drag. So basically a drag truck, but still street legal. So okay. he got one of our Enforcer long blocks, um, went to Firepunk for all the turbos, plumbing. Uh, it's got a GT55 80 millimeter on the manifold and a GT55 98 for an atmosphere. 400% uh, extra G injectors and two 14 millimeter CP3 pumps. Did uh, 2,100 horsepower on Firepunk's dyno. And actually, it's funny, right before we started the video here, you mentioned how it's street legal. Some guy stopped us and said, 2,200 horse, how how do you keep that street legal? Right, well, it's, it's street legal. It's got license plates and yeah. uh, it is a lot of fun. I mean, you're talking rolling burnouts at uh, 80 mile an hour in four wheel drive. So, it's a, it's a ride. Yeah. Of course, and, and as far as machining work, you know, people who, most people are, you know, that follow our content, they know about the Enforcer engine, but you know, what goes into that um, engine platform that you have now? So our Enforcer engine's a deck plate engine, so we're using uh, factory Cummins block, factory Cummins crankshaft, and we put a one inch deck plate on top of the block. Uh, we also run tie bolts down through the block to get lateral strength back in the block, top to bottom. So. Gets a one inch longer connecting rod and uh, stroke, bore, cubic inches is all the same as the regular 6.7. So it's okay. our stage three cylinder head and uh, that flows 300 CFM. And you mentioned you got a compound set up on here, two turbos. What are those compound compounds like? And you know, also talk about the fuel setup a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we're GT55s, uh, 80 millimeter on the manifold and a 98 millimeter atmosphere. Uh, they run a nitrous on this one too. Uh, extra G, 400% over injectors and 14 millimeter CP3 pump. Awesome, and like you said, you're making 2,200 horse. Is he, you said he is using this for a race application? Yep, race, yep. Awesome. It's got a cage in it, everything to be safe. Perfect. Firepunk's 48RE transmission. Right, and you work with Firepunk a lot. You're, you're giving them engines for their, uh, yeah. for their trucks as well. Yep. yep, yeah, we provide a lot of engines for Firepunk. Awesome. Well, Drew, thanks for telling us about it. Yep. Got an awesome truck here, awesome engine. Always great to talk to you. And uh, guys, that's been your diesel of the week. Make sure you're following what they're doing over at DNJ Precision Machine. Of course, check out Engine Builder for more diesel content. Thanks for watching.